Welcome to the VFX show, uh, the show on the internet that teaches you how to do visual effects for your next film. And today I'm going to be teaching you how to make an asteroid field in space. Now, here's the thing with asteroid fields in 3D. Usually, if you want to make an asteroid, you make uh, a couple asteroids, then you duplicate them over, and then you animate them by hand. And that's annoying. You don't want to do that. So, I'm going to show you how to automate the process and make it a little bit easier on you. So first off, we have to make the meteor. Now I'm going to just cheat it um, with uh, this little thing called Debris Maker version 2, which I'll put a link in the description where you can download this and you can um, uh, get it yourself. And it's really nice little plugin. Now uh, I'm just going to click meteor here. I'm just going to select one. Then I'm going to generate. Now, if we go into here, we can see that we have ourselves a little meteor. And, and then over here, you can see how um, uh, the guy um, made this. And actually, you can change up almost everything about the, um, the, 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 the meteor if you want it. Now, this, if I, I'm going to show you in uh, edged faces mode, this is way too much geometry because we're going to be duplicating this in a, uh, in a particle system, and we don't want this. So first off, we're going to go into this um, turbo smooth here and bring that down to three. Now, that may not be super detailed, but the thing is, if you're making a big meteor, um, uh, like field, then you don't really want to um, have a, uh, a lot of detail into it because there's going to be so many anyway. So now what we'll do is uh, right click it and then hit convert to edible poly. Then all of that uh, parameters will go away. And now you can fix all, you can fix it up all you want, but you don't have to. Now um, what we're going to do is um, go into here and then type in UV and then put a UV map on this and um, make it spherical so now we have a spherical map on there so we can add in textures so right here I have a specular map for like rocks and a little normal map for rocks I found it online no big deal I'm gonna use V-Ray but you can use really anything with this but V-Ray is awesome if you don't have it get it now instead of putting this specular in the um, diffuse I'm gonna put it in the reflection map now obviously this isn't what I want I don't want this color so I'm gonna bring this diffuse down to like a light black a little light black and so it, that kinda gives me the uh, thing that I want and then we have this reflection map but as you can see it's not really f reflecting that much so we're gonna bring the reflection glossiness down and then as you can see I don't know if you can see that but it adds a little bit of detail to there and also what we're gonna do is gonna go into maps down here and bring this bump map up to like uh, 60 right so now that's a little bit more detailed and I'll pop some of the the rock texture out there and without adding any actual you know geometry detail so now we have this um, and the reason why I'm telling you to do this is because you want to um, you would you do want to um, <clears throat> texture texture and UV map all of your meteorites first before you even put it into the field so this is why I'm telling you how to do this so this it looks good enough I mean you can do um, whatever you want to it but now that we're at this point I think we can go into the actual asteroid um, field <clears throat> so now what we're gonna do is go into uh, your geometries and and go down to this uh, the wheel and <laughs> and uh, put go to particle systems then use the PF source drag out a nice size PF source and as you can see I have it on box but it's gonna be a rectangle when you first um, uh, make it so make sure you switch that icon type to box now as you can see 
the particles are going down. And what we're going to be doing is put uh, making our um, uh, meteorites each one of these particles, and we do not want them flying down like that. So what we're going to do is hit six, and that's going to bring up your particle view. And this is um, it's easy. It's a node editor. It's not super difficult to figure out. It's actually pretty easy to figure out, actually. Um, all of this stuff, it just each one affects it going down. So it's like a pipeline, right? So um, we're going to go to birth and just make everything zero to zero. So now if we look at this, we have um, 200 particles that are <laughs> flying like that because it's all birthed at the same time. See, now we're going to bring this uh, down to 30. So now we'll have 30 meteors in this um, shower. Not a meteor shower, but this meteor um, field. Now, obviously, we don't want it to be flying downward, so we're going to go to the speed. And I'm going to actually put the speed to 0.5 and um, the variation up to like 1. And that will add some variation to your particles. So some are moving up, some are moving down, some are moving over. And of course, that might be not accurate to how space works. I don't know. Have you ever been to space? No. You don't know what this, like, is. Are you, are you Neil deGrasse Tyson? No. <laughs> I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson. That's a twist. It's a twist in this video. I'm actually Neil deGrasse Tyson. If he were white and dumb. Okay. Um, okay, so we actually want this to be a meteor, right? We actually want these particles to be meteors. Now, what they are right now, and if I switch this over to geometry in the display tab, they're cubes. Whenever you render this out, they're going to be cubes. And we don't want that. What we want to do is change this shape here to a shape instance. So just drag and drop it over it and go here, go click on your shape instance and it says particle geometry object and you click on that and then you click on your geometry. As you can see we have asteroids um, floating around. Pretty simple, right? Pretty nice. That's that's the basic, um, That's that's how you do a basic um, asteroid field, right? So we're going to up that scale because I want them a little bigger, right? And that's good. And we're going to bring that variation up too. So now we have this, um, these uh, asteroids that are varied in size. And you can't really tell if they're the same asteroid at all. So um, now we have this and it's a nice looking asteroid field. And what we're going to do is because whenever you look at this, they're not spinning and they're not doing anything cool. They're not interesting. So we're going to add a spin here right below the rotation. And whenever you play this, they spin way too fast. So what you're going to do, what you're going to do is just bring that speed down to about like 20. That's a little too fast. We'll do it again. There we go. And we're going to up that variation. Hardcore. So now they're all spinning at random speeds. And now it actually looks like a convincing asteroid field. And you can, you know, you can uh, um, make this... Um, look better by adding lights and whatnot and rendering it out and that's really how you do it <clears throat> this is how you make an asteroid field it's simple it's not that hard to do and you know everything looks good and except like if you did this all with your hand like all, all by hand and animated this by hand and whatnot it would take longer for one and also would look bad um, this looks realistic and it looks way better than um, if you did this just in you know um, 
by hand. So that's really nice. And then you add some lights, some, some cameras in here, and make it look good. And that's really how you do it. Now, here's the thing. If you want to make a specific shape of, like, uh, of anything, like, see, that was just a box. But if you want to make a certain shape and... Um, and it's not this, you're going to have to do something else, like a certain shape that the asteroids make, like a ring or something. Then you're going to have to use P cloud. Um, then you can select anything, like we can go into the geometry, and we can make this like a, um, like a torus, right? And then if we go into the P cloud, we pick this object as the emitter, we hide the torus and now they're going to be in that shape um... <clears throat> you just have to as you like if i up this you can actually see that the particles are going to be in that shape and the only thing that is different about this this is not going to be in the particle view like Actually, it is, but um, uh, wait, no, is that in the particle view? I don't think so. So what you have to do is that all of the particle view stuff is in the modify tab. So it's pretty easy. You can um, add what type of particle it is. So if you want to use an instancing um, you would have to do instance geometry pick that geometry pick this and then if you render this out real quick it should and now this might blow up but as you can see um, all of those are you know all of the particles are going to be that now the thing is with this is you'll have to put the texture on um, this P cloud. So if we put this on the P cloud, like that, and then we hit render. Now they'll be textured, and um, you'll have. And obviously, you can do whatever. You can bring down the size. Um, the variation. It's going to be harder to do because you'll have to hit render a lot. And you can bring down the rate. Um, we can have that size add a variation. Um, and here, I think, I think you can add rotation here and random rotation and whatnot. And, and this is so this is just like if you want a certain shape but if you want like just a box it it's fine it, just to stick with that and um you'll have to do a lot more work with the p cloud and that's why i didn't use it but if you want a certain shape or something you'll have to use the p cloud all right um that's the end of this tutorial i'm glad that you started watching this um subscribe if you if you like this and if you didn't then you don't have to subscribe you can dislike the video and comment down below that I'm a dumb um, um, butthole or anything more vulgar than that uh, uh, I've never uh, you know um, and if you and if you did like this video you can hit like you can hit favorite you can watch my other videos um, and um, yeah and also in the comment down below suggest what you want me to do next because that's the hardest thing about making these tutorials is I can't figure out um, what to do next. Um, alright. Thanks for watching, everybody.